Woman hears strange sounds from basement and finds huge dog hovering over a baby there. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Sarah's dog Sheila regularly dragged weird stuff into the house. One day, Sarah followed faint crying sounds to the basement of her home and froze after seeing her dog curled up with a baby. Then she peeped into the baby basket near the dog and was shell-shocked after finding something in it. Sarah Parker's pet dog Sheila was famous in the neighborhood not because she was a cute, cuddly canine, but because she was a ferocious Great Dane. Her large build and temperament were enough to keep naughty kids from trespassing their beautiful yard. Of course, Sheila was the family's pride. When Sarah first saw her in the shelter, she fell in love and immediately adopted her. Five years passed, and Sheila grew into an adorable family member. Sometimes, she exhibited her worst mischief by dragging odd things into the house and hiding them. Whether it's their missing shoe, bedsheet, or even plastic flower pots, the neighbors knew it was Sheila's mischief. But one day, she had dragged home someone's baby when nobody was watching. Sheila and Sarah were more of a mom and daughter duo. People would switch paths and keep their distance whenever they marched on the streets. Of course, nobody dared to walk near them because of Sheila's aggression around strangers. What is this strange noise? Am I daydreaming, or is it really a baby crying somewhere in my house? Sheila was Sarah's only companion at home. The two often hung out together, shopping and walking. Sarah's husband, Joy Parker, usually stayed out of town on business trips, and their sons, Mark and Jacob, were in their last year in high school. Sarah's daily routine almost seemed like she was the mom on wheels. She was busy all day long tending to her family. Luckily, Sheila was her only escape from the daily humdrum. One evening, Sarah was walking Sheila on the street. Since the doggo had a muzzle on, most passersby weren't frightened of her. Sometimes, Sarah muzzled Sheila to keep her from picking indible stuff off the road. But that evening, something else caught the dog's attention. Sarah tried pulling Sheila towards her, but the dog was staring at an old block across the street. Hey you, come on, Jairl, let's go hoeing, Sarah commanded Sheila. Enough, back OFF and come any here. They stood in front of a storm grate situated a little further away from an abandoned block, and Sarah didn't want to go there. Sheila was sniffing around the place and wouldn't move until she was pulled back with a longer leash. The following evening, Sarah took out Sheila for a walk again on the same route. She intentionally walked her faster to check if she paused at the exact spot near the storm grate. Sheila was chirpy, except when they passed by the block. She stopped and stood, sniffing at something. She barked loudly and wanted to break free to go there, but Sarah pulled her back and rushed home. I don't know what's wrong, but she keeps sniffing there and doesn't walk back until I force her, Sarah told Joy. Should I go check that place tomorrow? Sarah calmed down after Joy assured her that it could be a squirrel or wild rabbit. She knew Sheila was often carried away chasing birds and squirrels and ignored it. The following day, she was busy making breakfast and noticed Sheila hadn't walked into the kitchen yet. Usually, the dog would be there with Sarah in the kitchen and follow her throughout the house. But that morning, it felt weird after not seeing Sheila around. Sarah assumed she'd be sleeping on the bed with her sons, and she decided to let them enjoy their pleasure for a while. But even after the boys greeted her goodbye and cycled to school, Sheila was nowhere around. At this point, Sarah was frightened and looked for her everywhere. Yes, I'm now going to our usual walking spot to see if she's there. Honey, I'm worried. 
will she be all right? Sarah anxiously asked Joe, who encouraged her to keep looking and inform him if she still didn't find Sheila. Sarah walked around the street looking for her dog. She even asked around and showed them Sheila's pictures on her phone, but nobody recalled seeing her. Sarah was dead scared. She rushed home to inform Joy so that he could do something about it and find their dog. But as she reached for her phone at home, she heard a faint cry in the house. Sarah paused and kept listening for more. What is this strange noise? Am I daydreaming or is it really a baby crying somewhere in my house? She mumbled as she followed the noise leading to the half-open basement door. Sarah turned on the flashlight on her phone since it was dark down there. She'd seen several horror movies involving creepy things in the basement, and for a moment, she hoped nothing eerie jumped out. How silly of me to even think like that, she muttered. She slowly walked downstairs. The old wooden stairs creaked, and the smell of mold had spread around. She threw the light toward the corner, and as she walked nearer, she heard a child crying. Oh my God, how did you get here? She shouted in shock. Beneath her lay a baby in a basket, and Sheila was curled up near her. Sarah was furious with her dog and realized she dragged the baby there. Sheila, what is wrong with you? Now get out from here, will you? She yelled, but Sheila snapped at Sarah in defense and barked ferociously. She calmed down after being patted gently on the head. Sarah lifted the baby from the basket and realized that she was just a few weeks old. She checked the basket and found deep bite marks on the handle. Sarah realized that Sheila had carried the baby in. She peeked inside the basket and found a note below a feeding bottle. We might be the worst parents on earth, but we don't have a choice than to leave our girl the note read. To whoever finds her, please be a good parent to her dot, and please don't tell her that you found her in an abandoned storm grate. Sarah was stunned. She immediately rushed upstairs and called 911. The cops later investigated the matter and informed her that the girl's parents couldn't be traced. They probably moved out of the state, and it's impossible to find them, an officer told Sarah. Since CCTV cameras were under repair on that part of the street, nobody knew or saw anyone with a baby near the storm grate. And after discussing with Joy, Sarah decided to take the baby under her wings. I guess this is what Almighty wants us to do, honey, she told Joy. Sarah completed the adoption formalities, and the baby was officially under the Parker's custody. The little girl named Ashley grew up under the love and affection of her new parents, and Sheila's fondness for the girl and her family had only increased with each passing minute. That dog! She is one guardian angel! Sarah often exclaimed on seeing Sheila around.